We have um, a wonderful exhibit that is showing for the anniversary, the 60th anniversary of the Montgomery Bus Boycott. The exhibit is entitled, The Montgomery Bus Boycott, A Reflection of 60 Years. And as part of this exhibit that will run through the end of February, uh, we are going to have a special collection that will show for one week beginning November 30th and ending December 4th. This special collection features artifacts such as Mrs. Rosa Parks' fingerprint arrest record. We have court documents related to the court case for uh, desegregating the buses. And we also have a fare machine from a city bus, so we have quite a few objects that are on display uh, just for one week only for the public to come and take a look through. Uh, this exhibit is free and open to the public. Uh, you won't have to pay admission charge to see the exhibit. So if you want to go through the main exhibit, you can pay an admission fee. Otherwise, if you just want to go in the gallery and see the special collection, then you can do that at no charge. And also, uh, see, I don't want to give everything away of what we have on display, but um, I also like our, um, our surveillance records, I think, are most intriguing to me, uh, where the Montgomery Police Department uh, was surveilling uh, African Americans uh, in and around the city of Montgomery uh, as they were avoiding taking the buses and they kept very meticulous notes of what they observed. And there were also informants working on behalf of the police department among the African American community who were reporting back to the police. So um, I think these are very significant documents and kind of sheds a different light uh, on the boycott and, and gives our visitors uh, another perspective of this grassroots movement and and what um, individuals faced, what the what the black community faced here in Montgomery. So we're excited um, to host several events for December first. Um, there are a few that are open to the public and some that are closed. So we have, we're going to host uh, Alabama Public Television uh, for a live webcast, a uh, virtual field trip, if you will, in our auditorium. And we've invited some local 7th uh, and 8th graders from Bell and Graff Middle School. Uh, that's in Mrs. Park's old neighborhood, by the way. <laughs> and so we've invited them to come and be um, participants in this live webcast where they will have interactions with uh, a guest panel uh, and talk about the civil rights movement. And children from all over Alabama will be able to tweet and text in their questions and uh, communicate with the panel and with the students in the room. So we're excited to host that for them. In addition, uh, the Rosa Parks Museum will have complimentary admission on December 1st. So we will be free and open to the public. So we encourage everyone to come out and take a look through the museum. We have a, a statue that has just been restored the Rosa Parks uh, statue of her seated on the bus. So that has just been restored by the artist Eric Blome and relocated to the atrium. So it's right as soon as you walk in the door in a more prominent location. It's a very popular statue with the public. So we're very excited about that. We have some new items in our gift shop commemorating the 60th anniversary. So, um, and we've made some renovations to the gift shop. So uh, we hope that people will come in and take a look at some nice um, deals and things that we have available for the gift shop. Also on December 1st, a Montgomery City bus will be parked in the front of the museum. The bus dates back to 1955. So we're excited to have a bus from the time period uh, available for visitors to tour and walk through. We'll have volunteers giving brief tours of the bus 
And uh, also we have C-SPAN will be coming down with the C-SPAN bus. And on that C-SPAN bus, uh, they will have items related to the civil rights movement and educational features for everyone to come through and experience. So uh, we're excited to have that as well. So those um, buses will be uh, in front of the museum on December 1st. So we're really excited and looking forward to sharing the museum with the public. And all of these events, and including the exhibit itself, um, the, the special collection and the um, exhibit, the temporary exhibit that's in the gallery, is kind of a beginning and an introduction of myself as the new director uh, to the public and to get the public to see my vision for this museum going forward. Um, we're going to be using this museum as a platform for scholarly dialogue about topics related to the civil rights movement in the 21st century. So we're going to be connecting the dots from 1955 to today and talking about issues such as police brutality and and marriage equality, human rights. So we're looking forward to discussing these issues and, and having uh, educational programming surrounding it. So uh, hopefully the public will come out and take a look at what we're doing as an introduction and participate and come back and see us uh, in the future when we have uh, educational programs.